Hey guys, I'm Justin Z, and I'm going to give you a quick analysis of the new Transformers print ads that recently came out. We don't have an official one sheet yet, but we do have this massive banner, a teaser of the Decepticon logo, and an official reveal picture of Sentinel Prime. So I'll start with the banner. It shows Optimus Prime with his signature lance. Uh, it was originally an axe in the cartoons, but of course it is more practical in the movie, and it burns red with heat, which I've always loved. In his right arm, he is holding a massive three-barrel rifle, probably not a part of his body. The design of Optimus Prime hasn't really changed much, but he definitely looks a little bulkier just in his pose, and his eyes seem a little bit more defined to show eyelids, which were always difficult to portray in the previous movies. Behind him is a destroyed city, with multiple destroyed buildings and alien ships flying everywhere. I can tell by the damage that this was definitely done in Photoshop, using many techniques that I've talked about in tutorials. If you haven't already, you can check out the Mahalo Make a Movie Poster playlist at the end of this video. I have a whole series on destroying a city. So as you can see, there is no title, no logline, just a date. Of course, a title really isn't necessary because all the info you need is in this poster. Big bad war scene, Optimus Prime's gonna kick ass, and by the color scheme, it's gonna be dark and moody. Moving on, we have the teaser poster for Transformers Dark of the Moon. It's very simply a reflective Decepticon logo, with the moon being reflected. If you saw the teaser trailer for Dark of the Moon, you know that part of the movie takes place on the moon where Sentinel Prime lies sleeping. Once again, very simple design, not telling you much, nothing really special when it comes to design, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. And finally, we have our reveal photo of Sentinel Prime. He's looking relatively bulky in design. He looks like he could take a few hits and keep coming. I was told that his vehicle mode is a fire truck, and there are a few things that hint at that, including the aluminum patterns going down his leg, and the fact that he's colored red, and the medical sign on his right shoulder. Also, he has a couple of resembling factors to Optimus, the main being his chest looks like the front windows of the vehicle he transforms into. Little things like that are always appreciated in design. His face reminds me of Jetfire, who was an old Decepticon turned Autobot who himself was an SR-71, that we saw in the previous movie. It's the same simulated beard, and it really just reminds me of that. He also seems to have what resembles wings. The basic shape reminds me of dragonfly wings, so we'll see what he can do with that. Well, that's it for me. Hope my little analysis was informative. If you want to see more of a design or analysis on a specific poster, feel free to email me at requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.